Hello everyone. Today we will see the trail.txt file, which was there in the Creo session, or uh, and this got created uh, while you are you are using the Creo session in your working directory. So trail file is nothing but a text file, txt file, which is editable and which re it records everything you are going to perform within the Creo session we, uh, that will get recorded in this text file. So whatever data you lost uh, with unexpected uh, termination of the session or uh, any failure of the Creo, so the, uh, some kind of crash. So using this uh, dot, uh, .txt file, the trail.txt file, you can record that session which you lost previously. So uh, what this trail.txt will do, when you uh, uh, run this trail.txt, it re uh, replace the session which you lost previously. To run this session for successfully, you need to ensure some points. Those same points is right. Uh, the lost session you have created in some settings, configuration setting where you are customization or some kind of data you used. So that data you need to keep in same location, some same UI customization you need to use, same configuration options you need to use, and same way you need to follow some steps what you did in previous lost session. So uh, this is the trail.txt. You can see in your, work, uh, your working directory, this same kind of uh, trail.txt.1. This is the versioning. Means uh, you, you are going to uh, use some different session. So as per the session, this trail.txt.1, it get created. One represent the first session. So if, uh, if it is there, two is there. So it represents the second session. So there were, might be the multiple files, trail.txt, but you need to look for the latest one, which you lost uh, for the session. So you can check the time and date, the loss for the last session, you need to recover. So we will, we will see now for in the exact uh, scenario using the Creo parameter. Even though you need to keep some points in mind, so Creo parameter session must be same, means uh, version of the Creo parameter must be same. So if you are creating uh, this trail in some previous Creo 8 and some might be, and if you are replaying this trail in the Creo 10 or 11, so it will not work, uh, it might not work because the changes in UI session, uh, UI side of the Creo parameter, so it may get fail. But if you are using the same uh, Creo version, so it will not get fail. So these things we need to keep in mind while uh, recovering the data using the trail.txt. So let's see in the exact Creo session and scenario. This is my Creo 11. I will show you how it uh, trail.txt works in this Creo. So I will show you the working directory. This is my working directory and you can see here are nothing trail.txt is created in actual folder. There is uh, for this session, it is getting created, but previously there is no trail.txt. So there is a config.pro yeah, which I am using, but uh, nothing is there in uh, config.pro. So I'm doing this file new part. I'm giving some name for the trail. I'm giving the new name, I think okay. Extrude front, keeping some body here with some values a change in the direction keeping some extrude length I think okay and I you can close the session from here exit or I'm just trying to terminate using the, the task manager process I'm going to kill the session from here so this kind of unexpected termination of the crew. So you can see here the trail.txt got created. You can rename it or you can copy it and rename it. So I will show you how I replaced this uh, trail.txt which was created for the session which we have terminated. So I'm just renaming this trail.txt because if it contains the versioning, so it will not show in the trail and Creo. So I'm just doing the new hitting enter. So you will get the dialog for the rename. Hit yes. 
so see you can see the new dot txt this is a text document if it contains the versioning it will not show the type of the document it is specific to creo so you need what you need to do you need to launch the creo session again to run this trial file So here is the option play trail files. From here you can see go to working directory. This working directory is my default directory I have already set in the software level. So here you can see the new.txt. If you are going to run this, so you will get the dialog. If I see new.txt open, so see it is exactly replicating replicating the previous session which we have terminated. And it got closed. So this way we are not going to recover any our data because it got closed as per the session recorded file so what you need to do you need to edit this file in the .txt format edit in notepad and go at the end where the queue is getting closed so see here is the lines for the closure of the queue so what you need to do you need to remove some lines the failure lines which is uh, crashing the queue and uh, closing the queue so just go and remove some lines this is the close lines yeah this much lines you need to remove the close close one lines or you can go up to the last command you have used the might be here command see here up to that uh, also you can uh, remove the lines or then your creo will get stopped here so i'm just removing the close lines creo close lines from here and hit save and then start the creo again so now again i'm going to the play trail file here working directory see here is the my trail file which i have already renamed i'm selecting this and opening this file you can do double click to run this files also so i'm just running the trail file is getting played so see my uh, creo session got stopped here the at the line where we have stopped the creo and we removed some uh, closing of the creo lines so you can continue the session or you can save it for to uh, save the data which you have lost you can save it or you can continue creating some run monitor rendering in your creo operations so even though uh, we which we have played the create uh, new.txt trail file which was which was get recorded in uh, latest trail files if you are going to uh, continue this session uh, the session will get uh, continued in, in this new trail.txt see for each session the trail.txt got created so you need to the pick uh, you need to pick the right one the loss for the lost session you want you know you want to recover so this is the use of the trail.txt even though you can customize your uh, customize or you can say uh, automize your software using the trail.txt if you want to create the new part file so each in time you know, don't you don't have to go to the selection part new and some kind of same kind of map key you create so this is the use of the and how you are going to recover the your loss session it will be very helpful for the in larger assembly failures where the creo get fails get the crash so in that uh, in that time you most of the engineer uh, lose their data in the session data so this way they can recover their data yeah that's it for trail.txt if you have any questions you can drop in comment we will try to answer you all yeah thank you thank you for watching